Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm Olivia, and we are on the 5409 design team. So on the design team, we use software such as Inventor to make our ideas come to life. And we prototype and iterate our designs to make the best robot possible for this season. So I worked on the shoulder mechanism, which acts as a pivot joint for the extension arm. And I helped with the extension arm, which is loosely based on our elevator mechanism from last year's robot, and it holds the claw. Once we finish our prototypes and designs, we create drawings and we send them off to manufacturing. And at our recent competition in Newmarket, we were awarded with the Excellence in Engineering Award for our professional approach to engineering. As well as our hard work on our 54 and 9 technical binder, documenting our subsystems. Hello, I'm Mariah. And I'm Leanna. We're from the 5409 electrical team. As an electrical team, we wire and deal with all the main components of the robot. It's our first year on the team, so we are working towards getting experience for future years in order to lead. We're learning skills such as the can loop, crimping, and cable management so we can have an organized electrical system that is easy to modify if there's any problems. We are currently the first girls to join the electrical team since the first lead back in 2015. We have made many great robots since then, and we hope to continue to work on our electrical skills and abilities so that we may continue to make even more amazing robots in future years. Hi, we're the manufacturing sub-team and we work on fabricating the parts that design create for us. We're broken into four main sections. So hi, I'm Afra from CNC. I'm Maya from Conventional. I'm Sarah from CNC and Lathe. I'm Ella from Welding and Lathe. So we're each going to talk about a bit about what each of us do. In CNC, we mainly take the parts that design have CAD modeled for us and then we create toolpaths on them using computer aid manufacturing and Mastercam. Once toolpath, we transfer them over to the excess tech routers, the 24Rs, and the Tormac 1100, and we machine them. Things we've machined have been like the claw, the intake, and tubes for the arm. Once we've done that, we usually hand it off to conventional, conventional so they can finalize the parts. In conventional, we work on machines like the mill, the box and pan press, the lathe, and the drill press. On the mill, we end face and drill aluminum tubes and steel blocks. On the box and pan press, we take CNC parts and bend them. And on the drill press, we make precise cuts and tapping holes. On the lathe, we do a bunch of operations on aluminum shafts. We make things like axles, stanchions, spacers, stuff like that. We do operations like turning, cutting, drilling, tapping, boring, all that stuff. And once CNC and conventional have made their parts, we take them to assembly and we assemble things like the intake, the extension arm, the claw, the shoulder, the wheels, and the bumpers. Um, so for welding, what we do is we TIG weld and we have TIG welded the chassis, the charge station, and also the claw for the robot. And through all the contrib contributions of the team, we created our robot. <laughs> Hi, we're part of 5409 Programming. My name is Lana. And I'm Yolina. We code and develop intricate system and software in order to make our robot function efficiently. For example, I coded the ARM PID subsystem. And I develop part of the intake PID subsystem. I'm also part of the drive team as the secondary driver where I control the ARM movement. Thanks for listening. My job on the team is to contact sponsors, email them updates about what we're doing, share the amazing videos that our media team makes, and really just make sure that everyone in our community is updated on what we're doing and being able to experience our program even if they're on the outside of it. Honestly, robotics has taught me so much, especially about with like my confidence and business, especially because I want to go into business when I'm older and I'm getting to like meet people who do that for like their living and get to work with people like that on the daily and it's not only teaching me things for my future, but also just like building me up as I go. Thank you so much for this opportunity and have a happy International Women's Day.